Hello, it's Jump Games, and today we're going to start the Call of Duty Zombies game project. So yeah, let's get started. First, we have to go to the Epic Games uh, Marketplace and search for the FPS Weapon Bundle like this. And now we have to click the first, click the free button, and after that, add the project. Now, and after that, you have to, if you're using uh, Unreal Engine 5, then you have to click here, 4.27 like this, and add to project. And it will take a few seconds. Okay, it's done. Now let's go here. Now we have that FPS weapon bundle here. We have all the weapons. Uh, that. Yep. Now we can close this and we can actually go to the first person blueprints folder here. We can actually remove all these like this. Then we also can go to the first person arms here to a animations and we can also remove this animation blueprint and when it's done should be done soon okay now we can close this and go back to the blueprints folder and we can open this and now we can remove this first person mesh from here and now we should have all here now let's go to the viewport now we have to click the first person camera and add, add a helenal mesh and let's call it weapon this or actually let's call it weapon weapon underscore mesh so it's easier to remember now we can change it to a i will change it to skar ar4 now I uh, will turn it 90 degrees like this. Then I will move it to 30, 30 and minus 25. Oh yeah, I think it might be that. Now I will move it this to here. Now let's try. Okay, the weapon placement for me looks good. So yeah, let's continue. Now we can actually create a, let's cre create a um, struct, structure, let's call it weapon underscore struct, like this. Now let's open it and let's just add a few variables. First one should be, uh, let's call it uh, weapon mesh and let's change the type to skeletal mesh skeletal mesh object reference like this and the next one should be um it should be placement for example let's change it to vector and now let's create one more it should be rotation. Now let's change it to a rotation like this. Now we can start by adding a, a few more variables. They should be type uh, float like this. The first one should be called. Uh, actually, let's create this first. Let's go back here. Let's create a enumerator enumeration like this. Let's call it far type. Open it. Let's add a enumerator. Let's call it single fire. And the second one automatic like this. Okay. Now let's go back here. Let's let's change this to fire type. Now let's find the um, uh, fire type enumerator. Fire type like this. Okay. Now we have to add a float, which should be called recoil amount recoil amount like 
this next one should be called recoil recoil jaw and the next one is recoil length recoil length length like this the next one oh i forgot the end the next one is let's call it a pull back amount like this and the next one is fire rate and then we need maybe a bullet red i think these are good okay yep now let's save and close this now we can go to the event graph and now let's add create a new function it should be called get weapon that's and i will have to remove this because we don't need that uh, now let's open this now now we have to actually create a first weapon let's create a data table like this and we have to share the weapon struct okay call this weapon dt now let's open it let's create a first uh weapon let's add let's make the weapon mess the ar4 and the placement should be now let's go here let's check the weapon mesh 30 30 minus 25 oh placement 30 30 minus 25 like this and the rotation is minus 90 minus 90 like this and it should be automatic fire if i recoil amount we don't have to touch these yet let's put the fire rate for example 0.1 and bullet spread we don't have to touch those yet but okay now we can actually close this actually we can change the row name to a um one okay now let's close this now we have to now we can actually uh create a new variable called weapon index like this let's change it to type integer now we have to get data table row this now we can get the weapon index we can change to name of the string first and from the string to the name this now it should work i don't know why we have to do it like that or like this but yeah so weapon index and the data table should be this okay and if the row is found actually we can sp split this and if the row is found if the row is found we have to um first we actually have to we have to get the weapon mesh and set skeletal mesh asset like this and from the row found and actually we can decontain this and promote to a local variable like this let's call it weapon info or weapon data like this and now we can just split it here and we can get the weapon mesh from here to here like this and the second one should be the placement 
so we should be okay let's just copy this here set relative relative location actually we haven't and set the set relative transform like this now we don't have to do it many times now we can split this now we have the location which is the placement and now we have the rotation which is the rotation and then we can uh, go here and we can get the weapon data again so it isn't such a mesh mess i don't know how to speak english <laughs> but yeah now we can get uh, this one and promote to a variable like this okay and now actually now it's gonna let's remove let's change it just to fire type and the next one promote the variable like this and i will remove remove the weapon data from every all of this now from here recoil variable and be sure to uh, make these normal variables not local variables because if they are local you cannot see them on the on other functions yeah like this like this Then the fire rate to here and then the bullet spread. We are going to add much more variables to the data struct but or the data table but we don't need those yet. So okay. Now all these should be done okay and now we have to and now we have to create another function it should be set weapon or equip weapon is actually better so yeah and now we have to get the uh, weapon index and from the weapon index oh actually we don't have to do this yet so yeah let's remove this okay now this is done now let's change the weapon index uh, variable uh, default value to one like this now we can go to the event graph and we can actually the begin play here we can actually call this and actually we can change the name to set set weapon stats like this okay now when we start the game it should look the same okay here yeah. but now if we create another to the here if we add another row duplicate this and change this to a number two the number two I will make it for example, the this KA forty seven like this. And now, if we check how it looks, oh, first we have that the we can change the open index from here to two. Now we, let's check how it works. Yeah, you can see we can change the weapon just by changing the uh, weapon index number. Yeah, let's change it back to number one okay i think this is all for this video and